Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Okay, let's look at how to differentiate vectors. Okay, let's say we have vector u with parameter r and s. Find all the first order partial derivative of u. So we want to find del u over del r and also del u over del s. So to find del u over del r, you just differentiate all the components of vector u with respect to r. So we have 3 r squared s and differentiate r, you will get 1. of negative 3 and 3 r power of 2 ok to find del u over del s you differentiate all the components of u with respect to s so we have s here this one we have s power of negative 3 and s uh, negative 3 so you will get uh, differentiate s we will get 1 so r power of 3 and then differentiate s power of negative 3 you will get negative 3 r s negative 3 minus 1 negative 4 and r and negative 3 r power of 3 s negative 4 Okay, next, let R be the vector function where F, G and also H are coordinate functions of parameter T. So, F, G and T are functions of T. So, for example, this vector function R. So, the component of X is 4 cos T. Okay. And the component of y is 4 sin t. And the component of z is t. So when you uh, when we plot the graph, you will get this vector. Alright. So if r is vector function, when we differentiate r, you will get tangent vector. Okay, tangent vector is a vector straight uh, is vector that just touch the um, this vector. So, for example, this one, this is the tangent vector. Okay. All right. On this uh, tangent vector, we want to find its unit. So, unit tangent vector is just this vector divided by its magnitude. So we have this formula. Then we have unit normal vector. Okay, normal vector is just a perpendicular vector. Okay, but we want a vector that is normal to the unit vector, uh, to the unit tangent vector. So we want this normal unit vector. So to find this normal unit vector, you just differentiate unit tangent vector. So to simplify, if r is the vector function, you differentiate r will get tangent vector. And then if you want to find the unit tangent vector, you differentiate uh, you uh, divide this tangent vector by its magnitude. And then when you differentiate unit tangent vector, you will get the unit normal vector. Okay, look at this example. Okay, let R be the vector function. Find uh, R prime T and the unit tangent vector at T equal to 0. So we want to find... Okay. So... Uh, 
R prime t is the tangent vector. Okay, differentiate R. Okay, two t we get negative three, and two t multiply with two, you will get four t exponent t square. And then differentiate tangent t, you will get secant square t. Alright. Okay, we want to find the unit tangent vector at t equal to 0. So substitute t equal to 0. So we have r plus 0 equal to negative 3, 0. Second square t is 1. So if I want to find unit tangent vector, they equal to t, t 0. So equal to r prime 0 divided by its magnitude. So r prime 0. So magnitude for r prime 0 equal to negative 3 square plus 0 square plus 1 square. So you will get 9 plus 1 equal to 10 square root 10. Okay, let's substitute into the formula. You will get negative 3, 0, 1 divided by square root 10. Okay, you can or you can simplify as negative 3 over 10, 0. 1 over square root 10. Let's look at position, velocity and acceleration vectors. Okay, let's say we have a car that moves to some locations. Okay, from the starting point until, until the location is the position vector. Any vectors from the origin is the position vector. Magnitude of position vector is displacement. Alright. Okay. When we differentiate position vector, you will get velocity vector. Okay. Magnitude of velocity vector is speed. And when we differentiate velocity vector, you will get acceleration vector. And the magnitude of acceleration vector is how quickly the velocity change. Okay, look at example 3. A particle moves along the curve RT. So, RT is the position vector. Find the speed of the particle at T equal to 1. So, we want to find the speed. So, we have position vector. We differentiate position, we will get velocity. The magnitude of velocity equal to speed. Alright. Okay, first you differentiate R. R T with respect to T. So we have 2T. Okay, and then we have 12T square. And then negative 2. Okay, you will get this velocity vector. And then at time t equal to 1 okay when t equal to 1 substitute t equal to 1 here okay we we'll get this answer and then we find the magnitude of r prime t so magnitude of r prime t equal to 2 square 12 plus 12 square and plus negative 2 square and then square root then you will get this answer. Okay, next example 4. 
a moving train has a position vector at time t. So, rt is the position vector. Evaluate the velocity and acceleration of the of the train when t and then when t equal to 5, calculate the magnitude of both velocity and acceleration. Okay. So, we know that position is rt and when you differentiate rt, you will get the velocity. Okay, this is velocity. Okay, and here you find the and you, do, you differentiate and you get velocity. After that, you get acceleration by differentiate the velocity. Okay, at time at t equal to 5. You want t, when t equal to 5, you want to calculate the magnitude. So, first substitute t equal to 5 in both velocity and acceleration. Okay, and then you find the magnitude. Okay, let's move to integration of vector. So, if um, r is the vector function, okay, integration of r okay, equal to you must integrate all the components of R okay, with respect to T. So, you will get okay, Ft plus C1. Okay, this one is plus C2 and then plus C3. Okay. If we have limit here, integration with limit, then you must integrate all the components with limit. Okay, look at example 5. Okay, given ut equal to okay, this uh, vector function and then determine the integration of ut at t equal to 0. Okay, first you integrate all the components of ut. Alright, then you have c1, c2 and c3 here. Okay, you, we can find the values of C1, C2 and C3 by using this um, condition. Okay. So, when U0, meaning that T equal to 0. So, substitute T equal to 0 in here. In here. Okay. 0, 0, 0. And then we get this one. This answer. Okay, equal to this one. Okay, negative, this vector, negative 1, 2 and 3. Okay, then you compare. So, C1 equal to negative 1. Alright. C2, 1 plus C2 equal to 2. So, C2 equal to 1. Okay, negative 1 plus C3 equal to 3. So, C3 equal to 4. And last one, substitute C1, C2 and C3 in the UT. Okay, last example, example 6. A particle start moving from the origin with the velocity V. Determine the dis displacement of the particle in T equal to second all right so we know that from when you differentiate position you will get velocity so if we want to find position given that uh, velocity uh, given a uh, velocity then you must integrate the velocity okay the, okay because displacement is the Magnitude of position. Okay. So we want to find position. You just integrate VT. Integrate the velocity. We want from for T equal to 2. So from 0 to 2. 
Okay, integrate all the components from 0 to 2. Then we'll get this vector. Okay, displacement is the magnitude of position. So you find uh, magnitude from, from the position. And then we'll get displacement equal to 10. So that's all. Thank you.